A budget for a new era of space exploration? Do you have what it takes to be an astronaut? And Christina Cook reflects on her record-setting mission. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. During a February 10th event at our Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, our administrator Jim Bridenstine discussed the President's fiscal year 2021 budget for NASA, which invests more than $25 billion in the agency. This is a 21st century budget worthy of 21st century space exploration and one of our strongest budgets in NASA history. One of the noteworthy highlights is the more than $3 billion included for our human landing system for our Artemis program. The budget will also enable us to carry out history's first Mars sample return mission, develop a host of new trailblazing Earth observation missions, continue a wide range of cutting edge aeronautics research and more. In the science and technology we are working on right now will prepare us in this new exploration to take humanity's next giant leap to Mars. NASA is accepting applications from March 2nd to March 31st for the agency's next class of Artemis Generation astronauts. U.S. citizens with a master's degree from an accredited institution in a science, technology, engineering, and mathematics related field can apply. NASA expects to select the new class of astronaut candidates in mid-2021. You can get more details at nasa.gov slash astronauts. Astronaut Christina Cook discussed her record-setting mission aboard the space station during a post-flight news conference on February 12th at Johnson Space Center in Houston. My main message to anyone who has a dream is to follow your passions, be true to yourself, do what you love, and live the life that you've imagined for yourself. Do the things that might feel like they're just out of your reach. Go after that thing. Not only will you maximally impact the world, but you'll get the most personal fulfillment out of it. Cook's 328-day mission aboard the International Space Station is the longest spaceflight ever for a woman. On February 9th, the Solar Orbiter mission launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Solar Orbiter is a European Space Agency NASA collaboration that will provide the first ever images of the sun's poles and create a one-of-a-kind picture of how the sun can affect the space environment throughout our solar system. Our Mars 2020 rover has arrived at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida to begin final preparations for its launch from Cape Canaveral this July. After landing in the Jezero Crater region on Mars in February 2021, the rover will collect and store rock and soil samples, search for signs of past microbial life, and characterize the planet's climate and geology to help pave the way for human exploration. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.